This video shows you how you can take your essay text into Microsoft Word so that you can separate it by sentences and do much easier and more convenient sentence structure editing. You must begin by opening up your essay in Google Docs. You'll want to select only the uh, paragraphs of your essay, not the title and not the other information. So begin at the top, go to the bottom, and select everything uh, from the introduction to the end of the paragraphs. Now you're going to want to copy this text so that you can paste it into Microsoft Word. However, if you try right-clicking the text directly, it's possible that when you do a copy, that you might get this display. This tells you that you cannot copy uh, text in that way using Google Docs. So instead, the best way to copy the text is probably directly through your computer. If you can see a menu bar and go to the Edit menu, you can choose Copy from there. Alternately, you can use a keyboard shortcut. On Windows, you would type Control C. Hold down the Control key and then tap the letter C and then let go of the Control key. On a Macintosh, it is Command C. Once you do that, then you will have copied the text and now you're ready to take it into Microsoft Word. This is how you do the process using Microsoft Word on Windows. First, open a document, a new document window on Microsoft Word, and then paste the text into the document. You might notice that it will keep formatting, or it might take the formatting that's set in your Microsoft Word. If you want to change it, you can. You might want to change it to single spacing. That's my own preference, although uh, some people might prefer it to be double spaced. If you go into page layout, then you might want to get rid of the before and after spacing uh, under paragraph spacing. It's possible that you might even have a first line indent. If you do, then you might want to get rid of that because the first line indent really doesn't help us in this kind of text editing. Now you've got the text and it's ready to separate into sentences. In order to do that, you'll want to find the replace button. This is in the home tab. On the far right side, you'll see a button that says Replace. When you click on that, a dialog box should open up saying Find and Replace. Under Find What, you'll want to type a period and a space, and then under Replace With, a period and then an up caret P, and then at least one more up caret P. I prefer to use three up caret P's, but two or three is your choice. The up caret character is on your keyboard on an English language keyboard, it's Shift-6. On, on a Japanese keyboard, it should be uh, up at the top right near the minus and backspace keys. Each one of these up caret P marks is actually a code that tells Microsoft Word to use the Enter key. If you put in two of the up caret P's, it'll be like hitting the Enter key twice between each sentence. Put in three and it's like hitting three enter keys to have three paragraph marks between each sentence. Once you set this correctly, the space, the period space here and then the period and then up caret P's here, then you'll want to click replace all. When you click replace all, you can dismiss the dialog boxes and now you can see that your sentences have been divided. This won't catch all of them, however. For example, right here, we see it's the end of the introduction, the end of the first paragraph. So that was not caught, and you might want to hit Enter, Enter in order to separate the sentences. Also, if a sentence uh, ended with a quotation mark, that also would not have been found, and you'll have to artificially separate that as well. But that is how you get the separate sentences on a Windows computer. Once you have all the sentences separated in Microsoft Word, you should be able to now start analyzing them. This will make the sentences much easier to see because now they're not in the middle of a big paragraph and each sentence is isolated. One advantage that is immediately apparent is that you can see the length of sentences. For example, you can see that this sentence is fairly short and this sentence is fairly long.
If you want to find out how long they are exactly, you can select the sentence, and then if you go down to the bottom left of your uh, Microsoft Word window in any version on any platform, you should be able to see a word count. In this case, I can see that my sentence is 39 words long. That's far too long. Remember, any sentence should be no more than 25 words. You can also find out if too many of your sentences are short. This sentence, for example, is 12 words. That's fine. But if you notice that most of the sentences in your document are between 6 and 10 words, that means your sentences are probably too short, and your writing is going to seem choppy in style. So you don't want that either. In that case, you're probably going to want to either rewrite or even join some of the smaller sentences into larger sentences. But don't just do it randomly. Make sure that the sentences fit together. The next step should be to analyze the individual sentences. By looking for punctuation or by uh, finding uh, different kinds of connectors or conjunctions, you should be able to find the clauses in each sentence. Find out if they are correctly connected, if they are co correctly written, if the phrases inside them are also correctly placed and organized. You should also be able to do a basic grammar check sentence by sentence. Once you're finished, you should use this as a guide for correcting the sentence structure in your, in your original document. I would not advise that you use this document as the draft that you give me. This should only be a work document. As a matter of fact, you might even want to print it out on paper and work on it from there. Then you'll want to go back into your Google Drive and edit the sentences here in this document. That would probably be the best way to keep things organized and looking good. So that's the process for using Microsoft Word to split your essay into individual sentences and do sentence structure analysis for your Essay 1, Draft 2, and all of your future essay drafts.